Hello everyone, I am Anjali and I am a student at uh, IDC IIT Bombay and I am doing my masters in interaction design. Uh, in my last video, I gave away 5 tips on how to prepare for your seed exam and uh, that video got a very good response, not that it was the purpose of the video but I am really glad that you guys found it very helpful. Uh, most of you also took my last uh, Point number five very seriously where I spoke about uh, reaching out to people if you have any queries and questions and a lot of you ended up reaching out to me on uh, my uh, LinkedIn and my Instagram and everywhere. So uh, in the past couple of weeks my my social media has been flooded with a lot of questions and one of the question one of the very common question that most of you have asked me is what happens after you clear the seed exam? What is the process uh, of uh, taking admission into IIT? I'm mainly going to talk about uh, taking admission in IIT Guwahati, IIT Kanpur and IIT Bombay because these are the only colleges I applied with and uh, everything that I say in this video is is completely out of my own experience. Also because uh, this year all the admission processes were online so we did not get a chance to meet uh, you know fellow applicants and you know those little things that uh, matter when you step out of your interview and you ask the other person you get to see other people's work you get to socialize you get to interact so all of that did not happen for us so whatever i'm going to tell is going to be uh, completely out of my own experience number one id kanpur so i remember my first interview out of all the other interviews that were lined up for me was at id kanpur uh, we did not have to submit any portfolio with uh, ID Kanpur and I remember we were just given these uh, uh, interview slots directly. Um, since it was my first interview, I was not really sure what to expect and uh, I had my portfolio PPT ready on my computer and I thought they might ask me to you know, take them through my portfolio because they had not seen it. Um, and I was ready with all of that, I was preparing uh, my presentation the night before my interview. But my, to my surprise, the interview only lasted for 10 minutes. Um, there were two professors uh, on uh, on this uh, on on my screen, and uh, they barely asked me three questions. I remember them asking me uh, that what kind of subjects I'd be interested in because uh, you know during the master's program it requires us to choose a topic for the thesis. So I said uh, I'm interested in like I don't know about the thesis project, but I'm generally interested in people and languages. So the next question was, I said, what all languages can you speak? So it was very quick. Even though it lasted for just for 10 minutes, it was very quick. So I had to tell them what all languages I can speak, and luckily I could speak a few um, languages which were which were not my uh, native. So that was uh, that, that that happened, and after that. Uh, they asked me, Acha, so you mentioned that you are interested in rural in India. So, uh, can you state three problems that you would want to solve as a designer for rural India? And I had not prepared, uh, you know, for questions like that. But whatever came to my mind instantly, uh, I spoke. And uh, I think uh, right after I stated two questions, they were like, Acha, okay, we are done. Okay, you can go. So it was very quick, and uh, I did not know what to make out of it. Uh, but uh, eventually I did get shortlisted uh, at IIT Kanpur but uh, yeah I mean I, I didn't know it was very abrupt all of that. Number two IIT Guwahati. We did not have any interviews for IIT Guwahati which is generally not the case but because all this, all this process was happening online IIT Guwahati did not take any interviews uh, but they did uh, take a design uh, exam kind of a thing. But there was one portfolio round and there was one uh, design task round. Uh, for the portfolio round, we just had to upload our portfolio uh, to a given link and for the design task, we were given a slot of uh, uh, of some 8 to 9 hours on this one particular day and uh, this uh, task was uh, given to us and we were asked to think of a solution for that problem and uh, we had to write our design idea in around 200 words i'm not sure was it 300 characters I'm, I'm not sure of the specifications and there's no way i can go back and you know find out about it from somewhere but it was a short description that we had to give about our design idea and uh, we had to mainly illustrate our solution 
so um one thing that i would want to say here is that whenever you're doing tests like that exams like that uh, just make sure that your answers are very easy to comprehend and understand for your for your examiner especially when you're illustrating your uh, uh, answers and that is applicable in your seer exam also just make sure you make it as easy for your examiner to understand as you can we were given some specifications for uh, uploading a portfolio also uh, we could uh, only write around 100 words uh, for each project not dedicating more than two uh, pages so if you're it's a pdf so not more than uh, two pages uh, per project so uh, in that case also i i had submitted uh, only um, three three projects of mine and uh, i stuck to the specifications this is also very important please stick to the specifications i did not use more than three pictures for every project and i just try to um, uh communicate the idea of my uh, project very clearly within those 100 words and 100 words including the captions for the images or the headings or the subheads everything not more than 100 words after we were done with the design task and the portfolio uh, round we had to wait a few months and then the results were declared uh, we had to constantly check the website i remember and uh, one fine day the results were announced and uh, i got in iit guwahati as well and i had taken admission but uh, later when i found out that i've got into idc as well so i withdraw withdrew my admission from iit guwahati number 3 idc iit bombay and i'm sure this one is the most awaited one for uh, most of you uh, कैसे आई आई टी बॉम्बे कैसे पहुँचेंगे इट कैन गेट वेरी स्कैरी टू सी दैट देर ओनली यू नो फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सीट्स पर डिपार्टमेंट एट आई डी सी आई टी बॉम्बे बट आई आई थिंक इफ़ यू प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर इट इट इज़ पॉसिबल टू यू नो टेक एडमिशन इन दिस कॉलेज टू बी अ स्टूडेंट हियर द एडमिशन प्रोसेस एट आई डी सी आई टी बॉम्बे इज इज़ अ लिटल लेंदी इट इज मोर Uh, intense than uh, you know the process that IIT Kanpur or Guwahati follows. You have to start with uh, the registration. So you have to register um, for the admission, and uh, before you can register, you have to do a lot of tasks. So I had applied with communication design and interaction design to uh, two departments, and for every department that you register for, you have to do a separate set of tasks. so for example uh, i remember for uh, interaction design we had to write a 1000 word essay on a particular topic and uh, if you think that is a lot then just wait until you take admission in this course so yeah it's still uh, an easy thing to do and then we had to write a critique on a research paper so for that we had to read a research paper and then understand it and then write a critique so all of that takes a lot of time so one advice i will give here is just start early please do not procrastinate in this take this registration part very seriously um for two reasons one it will take you a lot of time to do it and second when you are sitting in the interview they are going to ask you questions from your uh, uh, these tasks that you have done so like even if you have written like a thousand word essay then they will just find one line in your essay and then they will pick that up and they'll say acha ye kyun likh raha tum batao ab iska kya matlab hai so whatever you're doing uh, whatever you're writing during your uh, this registration task just make sure you're very thorough with it and uh, uh, don't write senseless things and just take this task very seriously get it reviewed from other people or just review to your, yourself make sure there are no spelling mistakes make sure the grammar is right just be very sincere with this registration task after you submit your registration task they shortlist students on the basis of their ranks and uh, the tasks that they have submitted according to the website uh, they call uh, eight students per seat so if there are 10 seats they will call 80 students for the interview in between we also had to submit our uh, portfolio so they gave us uh, some links and we had to upload our uh, portfolios on them and uh, i kept at, like there were only three projects that i was you know that i had in my portfolio and i was sending them everywhere for even for admission in nid and guwahati kanpur everywhere same projects so the same i did for um, idc it bombay also for both departments interaction design and communication i personally submitted the same portfolio 
uh, in both departments um yeah so after that they just uh, give you slots for uh, um your interview i had two separate interviews uh, one for communication design one for interaction design both lasted roughly for 10 to 12 minutes not more than that and uh, in the interview they will they discussed uh, about my registration task about my portfolio and um, mm, yeah that was it that was it and after that uh, we just had to do a lot of waiting and um then one fine day we got these emails saying that congratulations you've been selected for the interaction design and communication design uh, course um at IDCIT Bombay and that is the day you know <laughs> we all look forward to so yeah maybe i could do a separate video on uh, how to prepare for the interview maybe i could do because that is a sep- you know that's a big topic uh, to talk about so i could do a separate video on that maybe i could also do a separate video on how to uh, prepare your portfolio even though i don't think i'm the best person to be talking about that uh, but uh, but yeah i think i've spoken about uh, the process uh, of taking admission in these three colleges if you have any questions regarding how to prepare for the interview or uh, regarding your portfolio or any other questions just just drop them down in the comment section below and i'll try to cover them in my next video where i talk about how to prepare for the interview uh, until then i hope you guys are preparing well and uh, wish you all the best for your exam and uh, until next time see you bye